in my last video we proved we differentiated y is equal to x squared by the first principle and uh, the first principle those who haven't seen the previous video the first principle is this dy by dx is the limit when h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h okay so we're going to use the first principle so yeah your f of x is nothing but your y which is x cube okay and your f of x plus h would be x plus h cube. Now, let us expand this first and then we will substitute. So, can I say now f of x plus h would be this three times. So, that is x plus h times x plus h. You can expand this by using the binomial expansion formula, but we are using without it. Okay, so what we're going to do is first I'll expand this. So this is same as x plus h times we can expand this. If you have seen the last video, you should know this is x squared plus two x h or plus x squared. Now again using expanding with x. We'll get x times x is x cube plus x times 2x is 2xh is 2x squared h plus x times h squared is xh squared. Then you're expanding with h, which is h times x squared is x squared h. I hope you can see what why I'm writing here. Then h times 2xh is 2xh squared plus h times h is h cube. So, what will happen? So, let me slightly go up. So, f of x plus h will simplify to x squared is x squared. Adding the like terms, so this is 3x squared h plus so this is again 3x x squared plus h cube. In the next video, I'll show you how to do it smarter by using the binomial formula. I'll discuss about binomial formula. So, let us write the first principle again. So, what's the first principle? So, dy by dx by first principle, this is the foundation of calculus. So, dy by dx is limit when h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So now this is your f of x plus h. So I can write again limit. You have to write this limit every time. Okay, It's a bit daunting, but you will get used to it. So this is x cube plus 3 x squared h plus 3 x h squared plus h cube. Now what is of f of x? That is minus x squared x cube over the whole thing over h. This becomes really exciting for those who enjoy calculus or algebra. So again, so this becomes limit when h approaches 0. Now, what can we simplify? You've got an x cube here, you've got a minus x cube here. So, let me use a different color. So, this, uh, I use the same color, doesn't matter. This and this gets cancelled. So, what is left over? So, this is 3x squared h plus 3xh squared plus h cube over h. So the next step, I'm going to distribute this h to each of the numerator. So I'll write like this. This is limit when h approaches 0 of 3x squared h over h plus 3x h squared over h plus h cube over h. Okay, so we're almost there. So this becomes limit 
when h approaches 0. So this will become 3x squared plus this 1h will get cancelled. So that is 3xh plus h squared. Now the next step is where you have to put on your thinking cap. Now what are we saying? h is at almost 0. Okay. Now it is not 0. It's almost 0. It's approaching 0. So when this is almost 0, this number, when you're multiplying by a very, when you're multiplying by almost 0, this number becomes almost 0. You can try putting a very small number to any number. I think suppose what I'm talking is uh, 0. Point, say, um, let's say it's 1. 0.35 times 10 to the power negative 50. Okay, so that is in, that's almost zero. So if it multiply an infinitesimally small number to any huge number or any number, that whole number becomes zero. You can try that on a calculator. So let me show you what do I mean. Suppose let me suppose go to menu. Let me type in. This is e to the power negative 50. Okay, that means 10 to the power negative 50, hopefully, times say 500, what will happen? Let's see what happens. This is 5 times 10 to the power negative 48. That is almost 0. Okay, suppose e to the power, this is e to the power negative say 500. That's not 0, but practical sense it's 0. Times say 50,000. Oh, that syntax error. What did I do? Oh, so that is too big. Calculator also can't think of this. Suppose that let me take 50 times, say, 500 or 50,000. So this is again a almost zero. So what I'm saying is, this this is where you have to use your intuition. This is there's no problem with this because it doesn't have an edge. This is almost zero, and of course when it's almost zero and then you square it, that is surely very close to zero. So this is what you have to use your logic. So this means this is nothing but 3x squared. Therefore, we can say dy by dx okay, of 3 of, of x cubed is equal to 3x squared. And that's what your teachers might have told you drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. There's nothing wrong in that formula, but this is the foundation of any differentiation. You can use this formula to differentiate any polynomial. Okay, Not only polynomial, you can differentiate any function that you're going to come across by using this principle. I'll continue in the next video.